again, ladies and gentlemen, this is Eddie Marcus, spokesman and advocate of basic human rights for all people. You know, when the people are divided, the devil runs wild. And the devil has, believe it or not, many friends, including generals. Hitler had an awful lot of them. So does North Korea. They got a bunch. The people that are of that mindset are the same all over the world. It doesn't matter whether it's in Italy, whether it's in Germany, whether it's in North Korea, whether it's in Russia, or whether it is in the United States. But I say to you, the American people, don't let them pull you down to the cesspool. You see, it's either something that's happening responding to right or wrong. Right or wrong. If you are right, then you must walk the path of right. Even if it kills you, you must walk the path of right. Otherwise, you are a part of that other. You better believe it. Dr. King is dead because he was right. Jesus Christ is dead because he was right. Malcolm X is dead because he was right. Megar Evers is dead because he was right. Abraham Lincoln is dead because he was right. Now, there have been other people in those same positions who decided to change their mind and go down to the cesspool. What we are trying to do right now here in America is stand up for the DACA. They are very important, but we must not sell our soul for that. So the way to prevent selling our soul is if standing for the DACA is right, then let us be willing to suffer with the DACA for what is right. If the devil want to shut down this country because we are right, then let the devil shut down this country. And you know something, ladies and gentlemen? Tsunamis do uh, occasionally occur. They are the result of a bunch of other forces that are taking place. But they don't stop. They don't say, I'm going to go around Asia. I'm going to go around this part, part of the world. They happen where they're supposed to happen. And perhaps right now, there's something that's working in America where nature is saying it is tired of us straddle the fence. Either we are a righteous nation or we are no-count nation. If we are no-count nation, then let us go down as no-count. But if we are righteous, then let us go down as a righteous nation. We stand for what is right. We stand by what is right. And we don't let any devil, regardless of his gold teeth, regardless of whatever he's talking about, it must stand alone. And so what I'm saying to you, ladies and gentlemen, as spokesman and advocate of basic human rights for all people, I'm saying to you, when you hear the president talking about these people who are coming into our country are crooks, that they are liars and murderers, that's the same thing that he is. Look back on his record, you'll see that's the same kind of thing that he is. But if he's calling them that, and if he means it, if Kelly, who used to be a general, I understand he's... He's something else now. But if he is calling all of these people, these bad names, names that you don't want to be associated with, then what does it suggest? It suggests that the governments of the world are against the people. Because in essence, government was designed to protect the people all over the world, to make sure that those things that are essential for their survival is met. This being food and clothing and shelter and education and health care and a job. Every human being on the face of the earth is entitled to this. And where these things are not happening, you find people who are going all kinds of ways, trying to find a way to survive. And if lying and cheating and stealing is the only way, then this is what they will do. And before you can call them all of these ugly names, you make sure that they can look back and say, well, there were jobs. Make sure they look back and say, there was education available. There was health care available. Not only was, but still is. Make sure that you can say that food and clothing and shelter is not being denied any. And then you can point your finger at them. If you can't do that, you shut your mouth up because you are a part of the problem. And I'm saying to the American people, there are a lot of people in this country who agree with this president because they don't know any better. They don't know any better because they have not been taught any better. And so when we hear their words, when we watch what they want to do, it, what, though it makes us sick in the stomach, it's also a time to wake us up that much, much more needs to be done. 
We are getting ready now for 2018 election. How many people who are running for office are thinking about their particular parties only? If that's what you are thinking about, if you're a Democrat and you're thinking about what you've got to do to maintain the Democratic way, if you're a Republican and you're thinking about what you've got to do to maintain what the Republicans stand for, I'm going to tell you, you are a part of the problem. The solution is, ladies and gentlemen, if you are a Democrat, then you must think about what it takes to satisfy the Democrats, but at the same time, you must include the Republicans. They must be satisfied, too. If you're a Republican, you must be thinking about what is good for the Republicans. But if you can't include what's good for the, for the Democrats and make sure that they come out just as shining as you on the Republican side, all of you are nothing but problems. And God Almighty is trying to tell you that. And that job time turkey stuff you've been perpetrating since the beginning of time, it's time for it to end. And God says it is time to end. And if you don't end that, you're going straight down in that cesspool that you've been talking about where the devil dwells, and you made it possible by rejecting the truth. Think about this, ladies and gentlemen, because the world that you save or destroy might be yours. Thank you.